Hey guys and welcome back to my Clash of Clans playthrough. So, just want to explain something really quick that um, a Clash of Clans has been updated today. Unfortunately it is not save game compatible so what I did was I exported my character from my previous save and moved him over here. So I'm currently at the exact same level, I should have around the exact same amount of money and I was in the exact same space any, or spot anyway. So the plan is now is just to play the new Clash of Clans 2.2. I'll give you guys a link to the uh, updated mod now and... Um, yeah, so that's just the plan now. Hopefully, um, I decided not to join the North because um, they're just a little bit too far away from the action. There's not that much going on. So I decided to move down to the Stormlands and fight alongside just a small army again. Also, what has happened is the map has been quite well done and, up and updated. Uh, what they did was they made the map 33% smaller. But they they basically got the map and compressed it, so everything is 33% closer to everything, if you get me. They also did a, a little bit of ambient occlusion and a couple of different upgrades. As you can see over here, it kind of looks a little bit more detailed. Also, all the um, the icons were upgraded, which is great. So basically, yeah, we're, exactly where, we're almost exactly where we were before. And now we're going straight into a battle, so that's great. Um, but yeah, so we're just this is just continuation. It's not a different series or anything. And we have 270 against 23, so that's pretty pathetic. What I'm going to do is fight alongside the Stormlands once again, as I did before. I'll go this way, you guys can follow me. And um, yeah, just fight alongside the Stormlands, just for a little while, get a, you know get some new gear, maybe go up a couple of levels and join the Stormlands. I kind of supported Renly Baratheon anyway from the start, so until he got murdered. And yeah, so that's the plan. Um, we'll see what's going on. So they're going to be coming with a barrage of cavalry, so I'm going to run back. As quick as possible. They're going to come up from behind me now in a second. I'll stay with the infantry. The plan is, um, like I said, sorry, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but basically just to stick with this army until I feel that I've got enough experience and, you know, I've leveled up a couple of times that I can manage my own army. There's no point in going and managing your own army, not in this game, just yet. Because, yeah, no, level six be can't, be can't be... I have to be better than the majority of my troops, if you know what I mean. So let's go, guys. Let's go get them, yeah. I'm going to get swallowed up here by this. I need my, uh... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, all right. They didn't give me any weapons. Okay, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's this? Oh, Julian. I'm in Lord Julian Swan's army. So, obviously, the plan is also to get... Whoa, what the fuck? Where do you come from? Shit. Somebody help me. Okay, thank you. Jesus. See, as you can see, I'm getting a lot more experience than I would be. Which I think is great. It helps uh, me level up my weapons and stuff. You know, I'm getting a little bit of two-hand experience, one-hand experience here and there, so it's great. I think it's great. Uh, that guy's dead. Yeah, he's beyond dead. So we won. Oh, wait, did we? No. Jesus, God help them. <laughs> Five enemies. Yeah, that's going to go down pretty quick. Three, two, one. I'll just sit here, I think. There's no point. Um... So yeah, like I said before, you know, level up a little bit, get some experience. As you can see there, my proficiencies, there's my levels and stuff. So archery is pretty poor because I, I went differently as I started the game. So I started off with a little less archery. But whether or not I decide to become an archer or use a bow, I'm not sure yet. But if I do, I can also, you know, leveling up that proficiency is not too not too hard. I'll get, you know, it'll be pretty easy. So Okay, cool. So I get a pitchfork and some arrows and a large bag of arrows. That's awesome. There's a couple more updates that I'm not quite sure of, but um, I like I said, I'll I'll link I'll link it below and I'll let you guys you know look it out for yourselves. So yeah, I'm definitely taking that. And some bread. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, a couple you know new bastard swords, different things with different things, <laughs> with uh different um, you know uh. Different factions have been changed a little bit. Some not you know, the, the lo loads of not notifications popping up that has been fixed. I think, as you can see below, it didn't pop up on the screen, and you had to click OK through them all because that's kind of irritating. So, so thankfully they fixed that. Um, yeah, like I said, we're just gonna hover around with these guys for a little while. 
They actually did change the map quite a bit, but that's kind of not really good. Okay, yeah, I got promoted. Sweet. Okay, so let's see what equipment I have now. Uh, inventory. I thought it was I, but okay. I now have a Gambazon, no helmet, and an arming sword, 29-32, so a much better sword. Whoa. And a much better shield, so that's pretty cool. Leather boots, yeah, same again. And that's kind of it for the moment. So I look pretty cool, as you can see. I'm going to try level up a couple of times while I'm in d on duty. And uh, yeah, so hopefully, you know, it could be a couple of levels ahead. I don't know if they let you keep your ship, but, you know, I can also, I'll can i have a little bit of money in also. Okay, so let's see what we're doing. I'm going to request the audience. Now, now unfortunately, it hasn't actually uh, kicked off yet. Where it... um. Sorry, what I'm looking for here. Uh, where it, yeah, where the wars have officially started, we're, we're kind of behind a little bit, so. Scouting the enemies, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna look at the notes now and actually see who's at war with the Stormlands. Okay, uh, did location, factions, Stormlands, here we are. They are at war with nobody, so that's probably why we're not fighting anybody at the moment. Also, another thing I want to do is become a, you know, a, uh, a vassal of friendly that'd be great because i get my own fife and manage that fife a little bit and if i want to go off on my own i can if not i have my own fife so that'd be great that'd be awesome okay we're chilling out in weeping town so that's pretty cool cool of all. and we are going so as you can see they changed a lot of cool things which i think is awesome it just makes the game look less like mountain blade and more like a proper mod like it had that you know everything looked the same back in the previous version but now everything looks a little bit different which is cool there's a little bit of variation there so that's awesome okay where are we off to also i think another thing i'd like would be um to be punished for leaving the army early like i think you should have to serve maybe i don't know two weeks and then you're free to go but or maybe you know more maybe a month or something but the fact that you can just sort of leave and rejoin and leave i don't like that because what's the point in having a personal leave i guess you know what i mean also, another thing I want to do, I wanted to talk about just while we're roaming around here, is um, is Mountain Blade 2, which I'm really looking forward to. Damn it. Okay, shit. Anyway, so like I was saying, yeah, Mountain Blade 2, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, I've looked up a lot of um, videos of it, and it just looks amazing. The kingdom management they've, in they've put in place is just ten times better than any mod that has ever been made. It's done... Uh, the best way I could think of it's done kind of like a browser game where you you uh good 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 um sorry what was I saying there yeah so like there's a kind of like loads of different squares and you there's either existing buildings or places for you to place buildings or even plots for you to place like farms or logs and shit like that which I think is amazing I can't wait for that that's gonna be awesome enter station town Nah, I'm not going to join. I don't think I'll be allowed in the feast anyway. Okay, I want to look at my character. I got some agility there. Cool, cool. So you can desert the army, but you instantly lose a lot of uh, reputation. So I'm going to keep away from doing that. But I, again, I don't see the point in desert the army when you can just leave it, if you know what I mean. So that's kind of odd. Sir Kevin Lannister, that's... um. Okay, so Fair Market. I'm almost certain that's the north. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the north. Um, not quite sure now, if that, but it makes sense. Yeah, no, that is the north. Fair Market, I remember it. It's right on the edge as far as I know, so. Okay, so let's see what Julian Swan is doing. Okay, resting. Oh, yeah. So we really need to get some action here if possible. Oh, no, no. But yeah, so so back to Mountain Blade Two. There's also a lot of cool, really cool siege aspects, which um, which are awesome. Like you actually push the siege weapons and the siege towers. You actually push them with your hands, not like kind of walk in front of them like you're doing this. And you know, catapults actually hit their city, and it looks kind of. It basically, the best way I could say it is, it looks like being a person in a total war game. It has that good siege realism of total war, but also the actual personal combat of Mountain Blade. So that's going to be freaking awesome as well the map 
the map uh yeah the map is lo a lot up has been updated quite a bit it's still similar but i you know there's no if it ain't broke don't fix it you know it looks it looks okay so why would you bother trying to fix it so that's going to be interesting to see um it said it's, it should be going to early access by i'd say august um don't quote me on that august maybe september early access now and released probably january february but we all know how early access games run they they um yeah, no, they, the, you know, early access games don't get released when they say they do. I'd imagine next summer, maybe spring, we'll have it, and I'm I'm okay with that because I'm definitely going to get this game in, in uh, early access as soon as I can because yeah, no, I got it. It's such a, it's I've been so much hype for it. Like the teaser came out in 2012, so that's just putting it into perspective. You know, 2012. That's four years ago, and it was just like a guy running out of the fire or smoke or something, and that was it. And it just comes up, Mountain Blade, Bannerlord. And it was just like, okay, that was awesome. But there's just been no footage up until like, I think about two, three weeks ago. Gregor Clegane. That's pretty cool, actually. So that might have been the one in the show. I don't know, actually. Because that would make sense if it's the one in the show. When he cuts the horse's head off, which is pretty gory. But, um, yeah, no, I can't wait. Because I always knew this game had lacked, um, you know, um, kingdom management. Even even with mods, it still just didn't feel right. But now it's going to be awesome. Like, you can change the taxes and what your men are doing and stuff, which is going to be awesome. Catch a fish, sweet. That's the first time I've caught a fish. So I told you guys I'd do it, and I did it. <laughs> caught a fish, awesome. <laughs> That's pretty freaking cool. Um, I'm hoping this guy does something because he's kind of pissing me off. There's just so many guys running around. Two strength? Are you serious? Ugh. Jesus. I keep getting hammered with uh, losing strength. Which is kind of... I, I noticed a lot of people said that, that people don't like that. They keep, you know, the, the hits keep coming and I'm just like, whoa. Because I lost... So far I've lost an agility and two strength, which is just not good. Not for just starting. Well, I know I'm a little bit leveled up, but still. It's kind of irritating. So now I'm on 11 strength, so that's fantastic. So this must have gone down a little bit. Okay, that's weird. Request audience. I'm going to go on personal leave up until some more is hit. Return in two weeks. Okay, cool. So Julian Swan, I have to find. I'll only be a little while. Like I'm just gonna go sell some stuff, buy some stuff, do the shit. So I'm just trying to think. Uh, actually, I'll go Storm's End see if I can find Renly. I could probably join him now if I wanted to. I also want to keep my eyes peeled for any looters around. Okay, that's a castle for definite. So the Stormlands do not have. Any um, guys yet? Any wars yet? No outstanding issues. So hopefully they kick off soon. As soon as they do, I'll go back because there's no point in just roaming around here. Hey, I I think there might be a, a woman in here that could tell me where he is. Like a princess. Yeah, here we go. There's a few people here. Okay, no, never mind. King Renly Baratheon is between Barrow Hall and Penmouth. Okay, or Penmouth. So Barrow Hall. Let's have a look. Where are we looking here? Penmouth and Barrow Hall. So it's right there. Okay. He's probably on his way back. Keep our eyes peeled. Lord Lester Morgan. Manfred something something. There he is. King Renly Baratheon. Awesome. Okay. At your service. I want to ask you something... Okay, that's weird. Um, I can't ask him, which is odd. He is the king, so it's kind of weird. Oh well. Okay, so let's go and buy some stuff. We'll get, uh, get a couple of men on our backs. Four men should do the trick just for the moment and go back to Barrow Hall. Get a couple of men and go somewhere where we can sell and buy stuff. So we need a town of some sort. Actually, there is no town. Tumbleton. We'll go Tumbleton. The Reach. Okay. 
Tumbleton's definitely down. So he says, so many guys running around, that's going to be kind of hard to find. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, they're honorable men. Shit. I was hoping to find maybe 10 looters. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. But uh, unfortunately, not, not yet, so. Maybe some tournaments, actually. If we could find a tournament, I might do a little bit better. <laughs> uh, okay, visit. Go to marketplace. Arms. Can we buy a better sword? Actually, no. Our sword's good, but I don't know if we can use it. Because our strength went down. But it's still there, so I'm not going to touch it. Uh, what else could I get? I could get some sort of war spear. Not a pike, a war spear. Because pikes are really slow. They have a good speed rating, but it's quite expensive. War lance. Lances are likely to break. Jesus. They all break, do they? I, I guess I could just get a longbow. Um, 21p. Okay, yeah, so I have to get that. Okay. A longbow, and I have arrows. Let's sell them. Sell that. And sell the pitchfork. Sell that, sell that, 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 that. Okay, cool. So we made 300 gold. That's okay, I guess. Can't complain. Cannot complain. Um... To arena, we want to find out if there's any tournaments in the local area, if possible. It'd be nice to be able to do a tournament. Oh, that's really cool. Can we win kill them? Okay, we can't, no. Here we go. That's pretty cool, actually. I like that. Uh, is there a reward? Okay, I'll, I'll fight the arena a little bit if I can. A little bit of practice as well. Oh, cool. That's really cool. But there's some... I don't remember there being spectators, but... uh. I always, I could always be wrong, so. Okay, I should be a little bit better with my own sword, so. Come on. Yes, okay, good. I got a fresh kill. Got some experience. That looks like Brienne of Tarak, actually. Come on. Jesus, this guy's tough. Come on, you stab him. I'm actually doing really good. Come on. I need a new shield. That's what I should have got, actually. Okay. Not good. Not good. I can't pick up my sword. Oh, this is so not good. Oh god. Don't leave me alone. Kill him. Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> How do I pick up his goddamn sword? Come on. Son of a bitch. Oh shit. Oh, sucks. Why can't I pick up a sword? <laughs> Can somebody please let me pick up a sword? Shit. I'm just gonna run. I'll hopefully pick up a sword over here. Leave me alone. Come on, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna die. I'll punch... I'll punch my way out of it. <laughs> Come on. Urgh, I'm gonna fucking knock you out. Urgh. Come on. Did I kill him? Okay, no. Oh, John Stark, I didn't. <laughs> okay, that was sucked. Uh, I, I'm gonna get a sword and do it again because I need the experience, but I just didn't mean to drop my sword. I was trying to get a new shield. 10 coins? Okay, that's terrible. Um, tournament. No tournaments. Shit. Okay. Alright then. That sucks. Uh, I was hoping for a tournament, but okay. Okay, what can we do? Is there anyone we can attack here? Caravan of the North. I don't... I, out of respect, I don't want to do that. Not Rob Star. Ay, 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 shit. Well, this is going to be terrible. <laughs> If I can get some sort of horse, eh, uh, that'd be great. Oh, I do have a horse, thank god. Okay, we might actually win this. 
And he's fast. Okay, cool. He's really fast. He's like 3,000 gold, which is awesome. I'll give my men a good head start, so. Uh, okay, we have a sword and shield. That's the best we can do. Fortunately, I don't have any pole arms. That'd be great just to take them out, but... Take them out for a nice, nice seafood dinner. This is probably going to be a loss, but uh, I'll put up a best fight I can. Get some experience. I was trying to get away from them, but I would have never made it. They're, they were faster, as far as I know. Hello, old friend. They've got a few horse archers as well. Okay. Damn it. Okay. 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 He got. Uh, good. Good. Getting some proficiency. That's good. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Ah, oh, beautiful. Got him right in the face. Where are my men? We need you to distract the horses. Good. Doing a lot better than I was in the last version. Oh shit. Oh god. Come on. Shit. Okay, I took a big hit there. Another big hit. You son of a bitch. You touched my goddamn horse. I'll kill you. Alright. Oh my god, my levy are destroying them. Come on, man. Shit. Good, good, good. Let me get that horse. My god, did we win? Oh, they've eight left. Oh my god, I have six. I'm gonna fuck this chick up. Oh, they're all archers as well. Beautiful. Another level. Let's just... Great. Oh god, if he had hit that. Oh, I forgot I have no shield. Kill him! I got this. Oh, right in the back of the neck. <laughs> Let me get him again. Oh no, terrible shots. Beautiful. Oh, I cannot believe we won that. That is absolutely beyond belief. Oh, I'd love to land a headshot now. That'd be awesome. Did you get him? Yes. Beautiful. Good job, man. Good job. Oh, my God. 22. We took them out. And I took out all their horses. Well, the majority of their horses. Armed villager? Nah. Sorry, pal. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Some good shit. Making some cashish. 500 coins and a level, which is freaking awesome. I like it. Uh, character. Go to strength. No. Uh, yeah, strength. We need strength. And here we could probably do... Archery, I think. Yeah, I'll just do a little bit of archery. Because we're getting two points for every, you know, point we put in. Just at this level. Uh, we could probably do... I'm trying to think here now. What could I do? Weapon Master? No. Damage to shield. Athletics. Athletics, definitely. I knew I wanted to do something there, but... That's great. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to end the video here. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time in Let's Play Mountain Blade A Clash of Kings. Thanks for watching, guys.